Tommy Khan, Liverpool make some noise! Let's go! Are you guys ready? No, 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 no. Are you ready? This is what months and months of preparation has finally come down to. All of you guys have literally been waiting in anxious anticipation for these two gentlemen to grace our stage. So let's see how much rhythm you guys have got. I want you to clap your hands as loud as you can. Clap, 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 louder. Build it, build it, all the way to the back. You're not loud enough, let's go, 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 go. As ladies and gentlemen, we are set to take you back to Mystic Falls with our very own Salvatore Brothers. Give it up for Paul Wesley. Hey, you're not Paul Wesley. I'm you're not, not Paul, Paul Wesley. Wesley. I'm your... What? I'm here to escort you out, bro. He said Paul Wesley. Woo! You want to be Paul Wesley, baby. What's up, guys? How you doing? What's up? Liverpool! Let you do the proper Ian Summerholder introduction. Go, here, right, go back go out, go back take out, two. go back out. Take two. Okay, take two. Sorry. I, all right, guys, I, big, I, big, I big round of applause for Ian, okay? Hold on a second. When he comes out, though, okay? All right, here we go. For my ego. You ready? ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the one and only Ian Summerholder! Hey! Woo! This music is so like dreary and like the Vampire Diary shit. It's supposed to be like. We need fog. We need fog. Yeah. You know. Fog. That From is creepy. Bag. Someone's yeah. sitting with a scream mask on. I look over. I just see a scream Bra mask. We need fog. And we staring need fog. at me. Good lord. Hello, Liverpool. You know what would be even scarier? An Ian Summerholder mask. <laughs> if someone just had an Ian Summerholder mask on. Mate. Why are you so far away? I miss you. I know, it's weird. I, I mean, like, I... Usually I like to, like, have some physical contact with you on stage. Yeah, it's weird. You, well, we know we're together all day. All day. All day. Never get, I'll never see. get sick of each I'll other. See. Yeah, get close. Come here. on, baby. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I feel so lonely now. Hold me tight. And I will. He's my brother, but he's also my lover. <laughs> It's nice. Nice. Ah. Nice. How much? <laughs> free. <laughs> Autographs. Yeah. In the family, we give for free. <laughs> oh, guys, have you enjoyed it being back with us at Liverpool? Woo! Does Liverpool rock? Oh, Does yeah. Liverpool rock? Liverpool rocks the f freaking Casbah. Yeah, man. Give it up, ball. Liverpool. <laughs> Woo! And you know what? We were here in November, and we're back again, and it's just as crowded, so we're flattered. Thanks for coming back to see us. Thanks for wasting so much of your freaking time. <laughs> By the way, no, wait. Seriously, here's some crazy shit. That was literally five months ago. And he looks like he's aged ten years ten since years. then. Not unbelievable? Seven. Seven years. It's from working with me. Having to run a company with him and, you know, raising a child and, you know, it's almost like, it's also like dealing, you know, with a child uh, and a business partner and a lover and a brother. Nice. <laughs> One hotel room. <laughs> a single bed. We actually ask for a cot. Can you imagine? Ooh, They're like, the hey, you know, we have a king-size bed. No, we would like cod. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, like I should leave. Just let you get over there. Hey, let's go. <laughs> we need your questions. Sorry. We need your questions. What's One, up, two, people? Three, <laughs> so Party Light like Rockstars, give our Salvatore brothers the best questions you possibly can get. We don't do generic questions. Go in hard. Go in deep. Go in all ready with your neck open wide, ready for them to sink their fangs into. We're going to start with number one. If we can bring the house lights onto number one, two, three, four. You're getting dangerous, four, mate. You're getting dangerous. Yeah, bring it in. <laughs> you know it, brother. You know it. Are we ready, number one? Please say your name and your question. Hi, my name's Sophia. And first of all, congratulations, Ian, for your second child. Oh, thank you, kiddo. Third. Third. <laughs> three. And 
My question for both of you today is, other than acting, what's your most skilled hobby? That's a good oh, question, wow. Sophia. Good question. I have no other skills. Paul, by the way, Paul's skilled hobby is doing his hair. Yeah, and by the way, it's hard work. <laughs> Honestly, my skilled hobby is, after a long day, I can get everyone fed in such a fast manner. We have like 19 animals. And I have to feed all of these freaking creatures. <laughs> and I don't know how I do it after a full day. Paul and I will work all day. And I will still get everyone fed with my wife in a timely fashion. And everyone's eating and happy. By the time I get to bed, I am exhausted. Sometimes I even forget to brush my own teeth. And I'll get up in the middle of the night to pee, and I'm like, I should probably brush my teeth and wash my face. <laughs> but it's a superpower. Nice. And nice. Yeah. I can do Paul's makeup with my toes. <laughs> in the middle of the night while feeding animals. It's, it's pretty good. funny, actually. It's pretty funny. Nice. Well done. Amazing question, Sophia. You Give rock, Sophia. How Give old are you? I'm 10. 10. She just stood up in front of like 1,500 people and asked a question. You rock, kid. Give it up for her. <laughs> Woo! That's what we're about. We're about sharing the love in Liverpool as we're going to share it from Sophia over to two. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Good. What's your question? Um, what's your favorite and least favorite scenes of film, film with each other? Wait, you got to speak up. What is it? Okay, so it was what was your favorite and least favorite scenes to film with each other? No, Let's do you, you say it. I'll go. <laughs> She's what just going to repeat the exact same thing you just said. <laughs> you got this. What was your favorite and least favorite scenes to film with each other? There you go. We're in. Favorite with each other? That's going to be hard to find one. Um, well, what was her favorite? I'll tell you. I, Probably I, when I, you were a ripper. Uh, no, no. I don't mean this facetiously. I didn't have any. Oh, yeah. I did have a um, the ones, our last scene was our last favorite was powerful. and least favorite because it was, you know, a bit of a um, dual. Bittersweet. It was bittersweet, yeah. It yeah. was like uh, the last scene we shot was the last scene in the show. And um, that, was, uh, that was a great scene because uh, Ian didn't have any, uh, any lines. <laughs> <laughs> so we got through it pretty quickly. Um, and no, it was it was uh, it was a nice moment between the brothers, and uh, it was real though. That that was the last thing about this, guys. Like, this was the last moment. Think about this: all eight years, all the experience, all that all that shit <coughs> boiled down to this one moment, where me and this dude were in the Salvatore Mansion, and Damon knocks on the door, and Stefan answers. And I said, hello, brother. <laughs> and you said, Damon. But it was a, but it was a different... Did I say that? Yeah. Didn't you? Did. Yeah. But it wasn't that one where it was like full of like... It was the first meeting we had when, when I, we but it wasn't full of like dread. I just realized that. It now. was not. It was the first time in eight years Paul didn't look at me without dread. But it was that like sweet moment. And that was the those were the last moments that we were gonna spend together on the set after all of that time. In those moments. And then someone sprayed um silly putty in my eye. <laughs> yeah. In the because well, it was like everybody was waiting behind the camera well, with no, like. Well, what happened, I'll tell you what happened was was that you were preparing for the scene because we shot my coverage first. You did know? Well, because... I pretended like you I was... Pretended? Yeah, 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 but I knew. Well, the video village was like from me to Paul on the opposite side of the Salvatore Mansion door. And I could hear Julie Pleck like, it's good. we got it, we got it. Okay, okay, guys, this is the one. And there was like five people. You know the silly putty that you spray in people's eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Paul Sprayed in people's eyes. I know. But when it happens, Paul's like... Sprayed in the air. Ah, ah, he sounded like the Terminator. 
But I knew in that moment, I was like, wow, man, this is the last freaking moment. And it was really powerful. Beautiful. It was very special. Love that. Are you happy with that answer? Yes, yes you are. You. Give a round of applause. <laughs> Amazing. They're off. They're off. Shut. Shall we shoot it up the top? Let's go. What's up? Top. Hey, number three. Oh, Look at this yeah, dude right here, man. Hey, what's up? Hi, I'm April, and this is a question for both of you. Um, do you like being Stephen, bad Stefan and Damon or good Stefan and Damon? Solid question. Noise. Um, I like bad. He liked bad. I like bad. And you I know what's funny? Damon liked bad. I like bad, too. We both like bad. And you know what's funnier? All you guys like bad. Let's be honest. <laughs> but <laughs> what's up with that? You but it's, but by the way. Nobody ever wants is, the good guy. I know, but this is like a psychological study. Everybody wants the bad guy. But in life, you want your daughters... To be with good because guys. Because it's like the forbidden fruit. It's, it's for, but you, you know. like the bad boys. Yeah. And there's never like a happy medium. Yeah, what's up with that? So guy? what's up with that? What's wrong with you is what I'm asking. <laughs> no, what's like, wrong with you people? It's just like crazy psychological thing. But you know what's funny? To be honest with you, kiddo. We all strive to be good people in our life. Our lives, right? So... When you look at a character, it's more fun to be the, like, sassy bad boy. But when you, when you finish that scene, you're like, wow. No, because it's more entertaining. It's That's more what entertaining. Because it when you watch TV or you watch a movie, you want to be entertained. So it's entertaining. That's why they like it. Because it's I know, different than, nor than the norm. Right. Okay? But it's I'm crazy. Just breaking it down for you, bro. <laughs> oh, <see>. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. All right? This guy wants to have, have a, a psychological study. <laughs> we have a Nobel laureate. Yeah, no kidding. Behavioral well, psychologist might as well be. right here. Well, compared Why, to you, I am. What do you think? What, what, would, what do you like better? Bad. She likes the bad. The bad. How old are you? Nine. Oh, my gosh. We're getting younger. And you watch <laughs> the show? Yeah. What oh. the hell? God. You rock, kiddo. Thank you for the question. Have You're you awesome. tried Brothers Bond? Yeah. Oh, no, it's a joke. Nine-year-old April. Give it up for us. She's a gangster. Um, We're going to move through three Did you four. try Brother's Bond, he asked. Okay, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. You're fine. We're going to take that roof. <laughs> Let's head on over to four. Hi, guys. What's Hi. your name and question, please? Hi, my name's Holly. My name's Keely. My name's Mia. And our question is, if you could go back and refilm any episode, what would it be and why? I, I, I don't understand what? these accents. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? You get that? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> if you do you want me to do it? Yeah, get it. Oh, get say it, it loud. Right. Say it loud. Yeah. Loud, loud. It's not that he has better hearing. He just can understand the accent. <laughs> <laughs> if you could refilm any episode, like, what would it be and why? Oh, if we could. Still don't know. So the Spice Girls have asked you, if you could film, uh, refilm any one episode, what would it be and why? If you could reshoot oh. any one, well, what well, would you, you do? Well, I wouldn't reshoot. I, 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 I enjoy personally. I enjoyed the flashback episodes the most. Oh, yeah? Yeah, of so the boys, like the eighteen sixties, the nineteen twenties. So By the way, even the stuff, even the heavy stuff, where like, I, you turned me, and it was all really heavy. But like, yeah, the eighteen sixties stuff when the boys were like pure. Yeah, that was just the shit. Strapping lads. Jesus. <laughs> No, that I just. Really <laughs> awesome. I really. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Um, I just really liked the costumes, like uh, you know what I mean. Like really, all jokes aside. Well, like, you I really felt you were transported. No, yeah, like I really enjoyed getting in 1860s. We had like a great costume designer, and I don't know. I felt like I was doing theater or something. It was more fun. It was like theater because you were literally going back in time. There was no supernatural element. Like, it wasn't like... Um, yeah, right. It was less like... It wasn't like some, like, yeah. modern vampire tale. It was these guys... Yeah, it was more brothers, human. And they were dealing with, like, real emotions. That's an actually yeah. when we were... Back when we were good actors. I don't remember that ever, actually. When we were young and we were hungry. We wanted to make it work. Young and hungry, yes. Good actor, no. I don't... I, don't <laughs> I have no recollection of it that. It was really special. The 1860s moments were really great.
But also, too, if I could, I wouldn't say refilm now because, like, I missed that time period as now that I'm, like, a dad and husband and all that stuff. But one moment that was amazing, that was equally as badass as all the 1860s stuff. Remember when Damon and Vicky were dancing in the Salvatore mansion? <laughs> and just, like, sucking each other's blood and they were just like, bah! they were drunk on blood. That, those moments of Vampire Diaries, before it got into like super heavy plot and there was all this like mythology and shit with like travelers and ghosts and Silas and the cure and all this stuff, it was so simplified. It was like fun. You know? But it's so weird because I talked to Julie about this, and we were looking at all the data, and the fans liked. Yeah, but they once were all the mythology. Came but they were. But you know what's crazy? The flashback episodes were the lowest rated episodes. That's what I'm saying. Isn't that crazy? The, the best episodes were the lowest rated. The actually the the mythology was so much uh, more well received than the really like human shit. I was like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. By the way, crazy. that's why, like, you look at, like, procedural television, whether it's, like, Law and Order or ER or Grey's Anatomy and all this stuff, does so well because for some reason the human brain wants to have to figure it out over a short period of time and then move on. We were, like, giving our souls. We were, like... Connecting. I, I didn't even read the scripts. <laughs> you know what Paul does? He goes, crap, crap. Oh, my line. My line. Bullshit, 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 my line. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you rock, guys. Give it up for the Spice Girls. Thank you. Want to be number one? Where are we going to go? Hey, what's your name? Hi. Hey, I'm Jodie. Hi, Jody. First off, I want to say thank you to the both of you, because last year, when you were here in November, um, you squeezed in one extra question for my daughter, and she asked you to do Ice Ice Baby, so it's gone all over TikTok, and that's for you guys, so thank you. <laughs> I wanted to ask you again. <laughs> Yo, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice Paul is back, back with, with a brand new invention. Something um, grabs a hold of me tightly, right. flows something like a, a something. Uh, right, alien, whatever, right, 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 right. Wait, hold on, whoa. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't no. know. Turn, Turn off out the, the lights, lights and I'll oh, glow. Close. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a band. No light up the stage and wreck the The poisonous mushroom, deadly. They play a dope melody. Anything less than the nope, best is jumping, a felony. You're jumping. Love it, believe it again, again, bit. Oh, you're jumping all around, mate. I if you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check, Check out, out the, the hook while my DJ revolves it. All right. How come, time, how come they don't do a Vanilla Ice I would, movie? Actually, I could do that. Why don't they do a movie on Vanilla, vanilla Ice? I think you guys should just I think, I Vanilla think, Ice. You know, at one point, he was the highest paid entertainer in the world. You know, at one point, we were high paid entertainers. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What's so the question, Jody? Sorry, we just uh, sorry. spiraled in there. My actual question was, if you had one piece of advice, so all the kids that are in here today, particularly my daughter, Sophia, if she ever gets down, and she, I just need to remind her of one thing, just one sentence, whether it's always be positive or what's your take on life? Oh, you better ask that to Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Listen, man, I'll tell you, and I'll make this quick, because this is real shit, right? The world is nuts. And Paul and I were just talking about this, too, because when we started this show in 2009, social media was, like, in its infant stages, right? Like, remember when we finally, like, I remember I didn't want to do, like, Twitter. And my managers were like, are you? I was the last guy to get it from the whole cast. No, you were, you were, you were. And he was like, I'm not doing that shit. And, and, but all of our management was saying, you need to do this because this is how information gets translated. Like, this is the future. We were like, what the F is this shit, right? But I'll tell you, depression right now with teens, whether it's early, mid, or late teens, or the 20s, 
early, mid, or late 20s, depression in those demographics are higher now than they were in, like, England post-World War II. Now, wait. Hold on. Think about this. We have more technology, more money, more medicine, more food, more real estate, more cars, more shit than anyone in history has ever had. So why is everyone so miserable? Because we don't have the brain power to think about how to get above it. So just remember this. Social media, the way kids and young people treat each other now, is brutal. So just remember this one thing. If someone's not treating you nicely, kindly, saying kind things to you, guess what? It has nothing to do with you. Nothing. You know why? That person is going through something in their lives that's making them unhappy. So you know what you do? You know how to combat that shit? You look at them and you say, hey, friend or, you know, classmate, teammate, family member, enemy, whatever it is, frenemy. You say, hey, man, I see that you're not happy in life. Something's bothering you because you're not treating me well. You want to talk about it? And watch what happens. Watch their face. Two things happen. They either ultimately have to come clean about what's bothering them. It could be anything, man. Their family, whatever. Or they just leave you the alone. Or they punch you in the face. <laughs> and then you punch them back. Because you know what? It's not your fault that someone's going through something. But it is your problem. So you got to deal with it, right? And there's no reason for people to be upset. Be beware. It's like... The Ides of March, man, like, beware. Social media tricks your brain to think that you are not as good as the person next to you because they're producing, like, you know, like a fake reality. Don't let it happen. It's true. Don't let it happen. Oh. Love it. Yeah. What an awesome answer. Thank you. No, it's crazy, it is, man, it's because, like, <clears throat> we, I'll tell you, like, I hate to say this because it's true, man. Because we've, we're a lot older than most of you guys. We've lived through this, and I hate to say this because it is, but like, sounds a little stupid, but we live in this like ivory tower because we went through all this shit. But everyone coming into the fold now, you can't imagine what it's like to psychologically deal with what young people are dealing with now. It's not fair. Rise above it. Don't let anyone think that you're less than they are. Period. Boom. Woo! Round of applause. Woo! Wow, we got deep, brother. I mean, Paul does that to me, but I rise above it, you know? And I love him. That's why we sit here and we hold hands. <laughs> we love it. It's like Psychology 101 with Dr. Summerholder. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that answered your question, guys. Thank you well, for asking that question. Well done, you well done. You freaking rock, man. Going to shoot over to number Paul, you two. take this one. Hey, number two. Good luck, girl. As long as it's shallow, I'll answer it. Hi, my name's Izzy, and I was wondering, what is the most embarrassing thing that happened on set? Paul, that's to you. Izzy is Wait, asking What's the you, most what? What is the most embarrassing thing that happened to you on set? <laughs> um, Bless you. Excuse you. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, what's the most embarrassing thing that happened? Um, I didn't have... Oh, I know. With Marcos. With, no, with the, the thing. Toe. Yeah. Wasn't that embarrassed? Well, I guess it was. <laughs> you, you, you look pretty embarrassed, mate. Yeah. No, I didn't look embarrassed. I didn't know what was going on. Until we told you. All right. Enough. Um, too many <laughs> nine-year-olds. Too many nine-year-olds. I just um, realized that. Yeah. Oh, um, How old are you, kiddo? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Never mind. Yes. That's a different embarrassing moment. Yeah. Um. I. I. I mean, it's always embarrassing when you're like. Um, Playing a vampire and you have to bite someone and your tooth falls out. <laughs> your vampire tooth. That happened a few times. Then we did CGI and then we didn't have to worry about that issue. But when it was practical. It was pretty, it was pretty was embarrassing. Pain in the ass. Um, when, what happened? We used to wear Ian Summerholder um, t-shirts uh, with his old modeling photos. <laughs> <laughs> when he was like oiled up. Um, we I will, I will admit yeah. that when I was a younger uh, model, there was a very well-known photographer at the <laughs> time, uh, still very well-known, but he'll go unnamed, that took some photos of me uh, with my uh, a bare buttocks exposed. 
And I God bless was, him. God I bless was him. chained to a freaking chair. You were chained during the photos? No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Wait, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta start. I, I gotta of, do yeah, some let googling. Me, sorry, let me let me yeah. clarify. Bare buttocks chained. I. <laughs> What's happening, dude? I was on the set of Vampire Diaries, and I was chained to a, a, a okay. chair Thanks because for Uncle Mason had chained me. With Uncle Mason band. chained you? Gee, what's going on here, guys? Let me finish. Wild shit. And, uh, and so I, I'm like in character, the best I can be, and I look up, and half the crew are wearing these white T-shirts, and it's me. And I'm like, wait. That's me. And it's a picture of these t-shirts of me naked. <laughs> and I remember I our unit production manager, I remember Aida was so furious. She ran up to everyone. She sucked. Take those phone, take those t-shirts off now. Because it was like an insurance nightmare. This is now 10 years, 14 years ago. So the, you know, limit, statutation of limits is gone. It was the most, it was the funniest thing ever. Because I was so in character, and I was like, whoa, Uncle Mason's trying to kill Damon, you know? And I look up, and half the crew is wearing T-shirts of me completely naked. <laughs> it was freaking genius, but, you know, for insurance reasons. She, yes, she did suck, but it was, it was brutal but hilarious. And those T-shirts are now for sale downstairs at the merch store? <laughs> no, they're not, they're not. And I get a 25% cut. <laughs> Oh, that's you, you rock, kiddo. Give it up. Give an applause for a 13 year old who can ask questions in front of 1,500 people. Shall we add up the top? Hi, number three. What's your name? Uh, I'm James. And what's, what's up, your mate? question, dude? And um, this question's for Paul. Um, uh, so I was just wondering uh, what was it like uh, filming the Stefan and Caroline wedding at the end of the series? And. Um, also, uh, a personal request. My friends, Mia and Beth, absolutely love you guys, but they couldn't come. Could you please give a quick shout out to them, please? Do you want me to sing Ice Ice Baby to them? Or yes, please. Is, yes. Yeah? Just, yes. No, I won't. Um, wait. Uh, your friends, what was your should have been. What was your first question? <laughs> Let's go back to the first question. Uh, so no, it, it, yeah. Stefan and Caroline's wedding. We'll get, we'll get to yeah. them, for sure. Stefan and Caroline's wedding, and then what? And then he wanted a video. How big you are. Your ego is there finally fulfilled, man. Look how big you are. Yeah, zoom on in. Keep it going. Woo! Yeah, it's what, it's Get what up for a giant, see. sexy Paul Wesley! It's what the people want to see. I see you up there not clapping. Make sure that filter's on, though. I'm getting old. Wait, what about the wedding? Uh, what was it like filming the wedding at the end, at the oh. end of... Um, oh, yeah. You mean the one where I married you? The one where... Did you? Did you? I married you and Caroline. Did, did he marry us? Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. Remember? Are you ordained minister? I am through the United. <laughs> I've been, by the way, no. I'm I have about your characters. Your character and ordained minister. I'm sure he went online and did it, but I, I personally. Damon went done, online and did I've it. I've done a couple. That's the stuff you myself. don't see on the Vampire Diaries. Damon online registering to be an ordained minister. <laughs> Wait, it's Dude, called the United like Life Church, <laughs> and I ordained myself in Dude. like. Oh, man, before Vampire Diaries, in like 2004 like four. Your five. character killed like 150 people, and you're an ordained minister? <laughs> Mate, do you know how many people ordained ministers have killed? <laughs> what was it like filming that? Um, it was weird because, like, the Steph and Elena romance is kind of like the OG romance, you know what I mean? And so it was kind of weird to then suddenly have Caroline's to Caroline's pretty hot, though, man. I'm not saying that she's not. I'm just saying it was kind of like an interesting turn. I didn't see it coming, to be honest with you. Um, but I love uh, Candace, and we got on really well. And um, <laughs> actually, I just came to think of it. There's a there, there was a really funny moment. I had to do a a love making scene with Candace, and uh, she tricked me and wore a, a bra. And on the bra was um, was uh, little photos of Stefan. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, but I want, it was great. I no, want it was that good. bra. I love Candace. I love Candace. Um, and then what's your friend's name? Uh, Beth and Mia. Beth and Mia. 
Let's Beth and Mia, Beth and Mia, we are so sorry that you're in prison. We wish you were here. Yeah. <laughs> and if you weren't in prison, we would embrace you with the amount of love that a convict would typically not get. That's right. We love you. We appreciate you. You should be here, but murder is a serious, serious offense. <laughs> offense. Truly. Something Next time, I'll see you in 25 years. See yeah. you in Liverpool 2045. Yeah. Boom. Love Can't that. Wait. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Mate, you're not very good with math, but that's not 2045. Liverpool 2045. I think they're going to get an early release. <laughs> <laughs> For good behavior. Yeah. Fucking hell. Woo! They're cheering down here to the front row. Shall we add on up to four for a question on four? Who's on four? Who's on four? Hey. Hi, my name's Ruby, and my question is, what would your preferred ending of The Vampire Diaries be, and why? Wait, what's what? Give it us again, Ruby. Go nice Slow down. Slow, slow down. Just we're imagine like, that. We're, we're Americans, you know what I mean? We yeah, only we're understand American. American accents. We're not very smart. We ain't know what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And Tell I'm just again. slow. Let's go. Slow. Speak English. My name's Ruby. And my question is, what would your preferred ending of The Vampire Diaries be and why? Oh, I love oh. the ending. You know why? Nobody gives me any shit. <laughs> I didn't end up with Elena, so no one's like, uh, no one's like oh my god, Ooh. Damon should have ended up with Elena. I look fantastic. I died. Spoiler alert. I died. I look like a hero. Yeah. I didn't end up with Elena, so people are sad or they're happy that, you know, no one's giving me shit. Yeah. Everyone's giving him shit. Everyone's giving me shit. And you know what? I get shit for two shows Lost and Vampire Diaries. I'm like, Lost? That was not my show, man. I love the ending. The I ending? I love it. I love it. Was but ridiculous. <laughs> He's not happy about it. He's not happy. <laughs> Paul and I, from like literally season six. Tell, the, tell her the banana hammock. Tell her about the. We don't have to have the banana hammock, but, but tell her about the, the, banana. the banana republic. Paul and I, I'm serious. I'm not joking. I will. Paul and I firmly believe, we believe with steadfast conviction, that these two guys should not have been able to live. Think about this. Shut up. Think about this. They came into this town. They destroyed everything. They fell in love and had an affair with a girl who was underage. A little weird. <laughs> we were like 160 years old. She was 17, guys. And then finally 18. Woo, legal. Still the ultimate, like most ultimate case of cradle robbage I've ever seen. <laughs> right? Then, wait, then... She killed, Damon killed her brother, not once, twice. <laughs> she burned her f freaking house down <laughs> because of Damon. These two guys, we should have died and let the, si the town, right, team human, go back to just being them. And the way they should have done it. We thought, we thought that, Tell me. that Tell them. we thought that a better Beach. ending would have been if, Elena Guys. got compelled to forget everything that ever happened, go back to being a human, go back to her regular life. Shut up! <laughs> she forgets that she ever met the two brothers. The two brothers are on a beach somewhere in the, in the Caribbean. Somewhere. In the Bahamas, somewhere Bahamas. in the Caribbean. Yeah. They're wearing thongs. Drinking like 50-year-old rum. Yeah, now you're with me. Yeah, now you're with me. We're drinking like 50-year-old rum. This is when we were in better shape. They're wearing thongs. Yeah, we're wearing thongs. Okay. <laughs> but we're wearing and, our rings. And they're wearing their daylight rings. They're drinking some yeah. Brothers Bond. Yeah. And close up. Close up on Stefan, <laughs> sipping. Close up on Damon, sipping. sipping. Right. right. And then the brothers look at each other. Like this. The sun's setting. They look at each other. They no, do the one last rising. kiss. They do no, one last rising. kiss. No, the sun is and rising. Then, <laughs> Sun is rising. The sun is it's rising. Like, Sorry, it's whatever. Setting, different, rising. Different, same, different same, thing. Same. same but different. You're fucking up the they, story. They, they look at each other. They take, <laughs> they, take, they take their rings off. And they throw it into and the they ocean. throw it into the ocean. And they just go. <laughs> go up in flames. And then the final shot is two little thongs. Lapping in the, <laughs> in the ocean. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. How are we not writers? How are we not? Was that Do you not think that is a more 
dynamic to know that the town gets to live and prosper rather than this 160. Uh, boo! Boo! I quit. I quit. Uh, well, we, told well, we tried, brother. We, we tried, man. They wouldn't buy it. And neither would Julie Pleck or Kevin or the studio or the network. So, you and fuckers. <laughs> now, you mentioned Brothers Bond. How's it going? How's everything oh flowing beautifully with Bourbon? Um, when are we going to get it here? Are we going any Should be the fall. <laughs> the bottle's approved because you have to have a 70 CL bottle here. You guys are super complicated. <laughs> Can't have a 750, 75 CL. Um, our bottles are approved. Our labels are approved. Paul can finally come back in the country now, <laughs> legally. And we should launch this shit in the fall, and we cannot wait. <laughs> Those of you who are of, of age, will you get a bottle and do a tasting with us? Those of you who are not of age, will you get a bottle and do it? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> We'll have to get that organized, ready for our next comic card. Full on bourbon tasting. Yes, with the Salvatore brothers. So uh, we're gonna head to. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta film this, okay? So, well, don't zoom in on me. So if we, if listen, let me go way out. Here we go. All right. So check this out. All we hear, literally one in three of you, asks about Brothers Bond, right? I'm not making this up. So. In England, we can get Brothers Bond here. Will you get a bottle of Brothers Bond? <laughs> Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Let's have some freaking bourbon. <laughs> if Paul doesn't screw it up, we're going to get bourbon here. <laughs> Love you. Mean it. Rock and roll. Give it up for the brothers. <laughs> Now we've so got what else? Tell me. Don't bite your nails. <laughs> we got you. Hi, my name's Ava, and before I ask my question, I draw you both a picture. Can I give it to you? Bring it over. Of course you can. I'll take a picture. I love take pictures. Take a picture. I mean, I'm so sick of pictures of Paul Wesley, but I'll take a picture of myself. Is it a photo of me? How do I Oh, look? wow. Is that my eye? That's freaking awesome. Hey, can I have my photo, please? This is Paul. <laughs> this is really beautiful, my This friend. is really nice. Is that my pupil? It's <laughs> a nice pupil. This is super cool, man. I'll read this message. Thank you for that. Thank you. And my question is, my mom, Angela, she's 40 this year. She is Team Stefan fan, but she likes you both. Can you say happy 40th to her? Happy 40th. Where is she? Over there. Happy 40th, Mom. It's all downhill from here. Take all it from me. All downhill from here. It's actually... You and me both, baby. You know what's great about... We're in it together. Thank you. What's great about 40 is you just you realize how much shit you've learned, and then you realize how much shit you just don't know. You don't know shit, and you're already 40. And you're Ava, already where'd you go? What's your question? Oh, you you're so sweet. There's no other question? You did that for your mom. Oh, I just mean, did that she for your did mom. push you out of her vagina, so hey. <laughs> All right, Jesus Pretty solid, man. Christ, this guy. <laughs> I, I'm, that is, okay, fair. Um, thank you, Ava. Good Lord. You rock, next, kiddo. Uh, next question. <laughs> yeah, make some noise for that. We like it. Woo! Make some noise. Happy birthday, mom. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. As being a husband and the, the dad of a child and about to be another child. And, and someone who acts like a child. Men, guys have no idea what moms go through. As, as like bitchy as dudes get, what women go through is literally 50, 100,000 times more what guys go through. Why are we such little twats? I don't get it. You know what? Listen, I'm just going to say, back in pagan times, they were matriarchal societies. Like, ladies made all the decisions because they could bear life, you know? Because you guys are badass. We love you. 
You say all the right things, don't you? you just no, well, right women things. are badass. They have way. Oh, they are. Listen, if it was up to men, there would be like 50 people on this planet. He's he's catering to the audience. He knows. No, he knows. He knows. Let me ask all you about a question. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Can you imagine pushing that thing out of your I arm? don't want to talk about this. <laughs> Next uh, question. I'm so glad this is the final panel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head to, where did we go? To we love line. you guys. Hi, my name We're also Grace. delirious. <laughs> go nice and slow and nice and clear. My name's Grace, and if you were to li- relive a moment behind the scenes of filming The Vampire Diaries, what would it be? Remember that time? We can't talk. That one we, the, yeah, in the... Not, not, the yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Cut, shh, cut, shh, cut, shh, cut, shh, shh. <laughs> breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe. <laughs> Just breathe in. So, there was this moment... Well, no, I hey, Ian, what about that one time we were in England? It's on subject since we were in England. Um, and we were sitting on that little bench at um, that little castle. And we had a nice cigar. Ah, oh, that, that was awesome. <clears throat> that was nice, wasn't it? We were in... Uh, in Birmingham. No, we were in Suffolk Coldfield. And then we went and had uh, some dinner. dinner at the cock. At the cock. <laughs> 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 there was By the way, I'm not kidding. That's the name of the restaurant. No, we, Paul and I had, and I will never forget that moment. No, I'm not literally. That's the name of the so restaurant. So there is, in Suffolk Coldfield, there is a, um, there's a castle, and it's one of the most like famous remaining castles. Very old castle. It's haunted. Built in 1307, and it's still got the working moat and everything yeah, around it. It's moat. freaking gorgeous. But Paul and I had this moment. We had a bottle of bourbon, and we had some Cuban cigars, and we were walking around together. And the famous story is uh, Henry VIII was there, and there was this uh, like country, you know, like farmer, this peasant who <clears throat> was not was rejecting sort of the will of the king and ran up to him, and he <laughs> cut his head off from his horse. And this guy apparently walks around, and I swear to you. You feel this energy. But Paul and I got to, we were just brothers. It was just the two of us having a cigar and some bourbon. We were walking around this castle. And it was really misty and foggy. And it was just Paul and I. And we were only in like, I don't know, maybe like 2012 or something. The show was like, you know, three years old. It's like one of the biggest shows in the world. And we were just together. And nobody was around, and it was just the two of us, and we were bonding, just like talking about life and shit, and we'll never forget that, and it was just the two of us in this like super haunted, beautiful place in the in the English countryside, and it was just really magic, man, like we never forgot it, and then we got to build this now like a behemoth of a bourbon company. We spent the night together that night. Yeah, <laughs> and the ghosts... We're all there. And he visited us. <laughs> but it was just really special. And we, we always have that moment. And then we went together. We went to dinner together at a place called The Cock. Uh, and we were just like bonding, man. And we have those moments. Did we go there? We have some Strange really special choice. moments uh, in England. Strange but the British choice. countryside for us, man, is like the English countryside is like has my heart. It's really special. I do love the countryside here. It's fantastic. <laughs> You are beautiful. Thank you so much for your question. Hey, thank you, sister. It's good to see you. Absolute legend. Hey, Grace. Thank you. Hey, Grace. Thank you. (laughs) Well, we are dwindling, dwindling, dwindling with our time. Oh, shit, go. Where's number three? Shall we do number three? Who does number one more? Who does number two work for? Ah. Hi. Tell me. Question is for both of you. Ed, what's your favorite animal and why? My dog Gregory. Yay! Love of my life. I love him so much. Because he's sweeter than you'll ever be. True. Because <laughs> he's a rescue. I think deep down inside he knows he's a rescue. He knows I took him off the streets. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm everybody a great guy. else. I'm a great guy. Just remember yeah. that. And he worships you because you saved him from imminent death. We all have to deal with you because we're alive. <laughs> His dog is freaking amazing. I don't know, man. Uh, my favorite critter, like, I, I lost my old 17 and a half year old cat, Moke. I had to put him down. But it was beautiful. Like, this is my dude, right? Like, this is my boy. Um, we have, like, 19 animals, so 
I have so much fur and shit everywhere. I love them all. Uh, Mike, wear I'm fur? Bear fur? Do you wear fur? I don't wear fur. Okay, good. Yeah. Make a joke. Uh, but there was a bear on our farm, and I was thinking about some bear fur, because I was like, he destroys all of our bins. He goes in and destroys all of our bins. I'm like, you little bastard. He's not so little, actually. He's about 300 pounds. Um, I love critters. I don't care if you slither, if you swim, if you fly, uh, if you run, if you lick, if you shit on my kitchen floor. <laughs> I just love critters. And I, what I love, too, is... How old are you? Eleven. Eleven. What I love is watching kids with animals, right? Because you just... It's just love, man. Um, so I love all critters. And I love all you critters. Because you guys give us such life. We only have... One more. Give me one more question. I'm not leaving you. I got you. From four, up at the top. Hi. Um, my name's Hope. Um, my question's for both of you. Um, how do you maintain your happiness without letting the stress get to you? How do you have what? How do you maintain your happiness without letting the stress get to you? Oh, I let the stress get to me. <laughs> <laughs> he lets the stress get to him every second. Yeah. That's, that's my answer. Your answer? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Life is short, even if you're 13. Yeah, this guy. Remember, these moments are all in Lessons with Ian. We're going to start a new TV show. I'm going to pitch it. Lessons with Ian Summerall. It's a, it's a YouTube show. Yeah, great. Remember, this, these moments are short. Guess what? This is not a dress rehearsal. You've got one shot in this life. Find moments of happiness. Find every happiness in every little bit. Guess what? A little east of here, there are people getting bombed and shot and shit. Guess what? We're together, man, in a place that's warm and safe. You gotta find happiness. You gotta. Life is too beautiful and too short not to find that happiness. Yeah, make some noise. It's so simple. It's not wrong. You're not wrong. So we love you and we appreciate you and we beg you because let me tell you something. The world needs happy people. And it is your job to find health and happiness and peace to treat other people with that. Find compassion. Find love. There's three major missing components in society. And I'm telling you, if you had these things, because you can't teach them, if you're a parent, or your kid, remember this. The three greatest pillars of society that are missing are reverence, gratitude, <coughs> and compassion. They're missing in society. Find them, live them, love them. We love you. Boom! Yeah. Mic drop. <laughs> Woo. Thank you, Liverpool! So Liverpool!